आर यू प्रिपेयरिंग फॉर सी पी सी एग्जाम देन यू नीड टू पे अटेंशन टू द मेडिकल कोडिंग गाइडलाइंस मेडिकल कोडिंग गाइडलाइंस आर वेरी क्रिटिकल टू एक्यूरेटली असाइन कोर्स टू मेडिकल प्रोसीजर्स एंड डायग्नोसिस इन एग्जाम यू विल फेस सिक्स क्वेश्चन ऑन जनरल कोडिंग गाइडलाइंस विच कुड मेक ए ह्यूज डिफरेंस इन यूर ओवरऑल स्कोर द मोर यू प्रैक्टिस द मोर फेमिलियर यू विल बिकम विद द गाइडलाइंस एंड यू विल बी एबल टू गेट मोर मार्क्स टू हेल्प यू आउट लेट्स लुक एट सम सैम्पल क्वेश्चन ऑन जनरल कोडिंग गाइडलाइंस बट फर्स्ट डोंट फॉर गेट टू सब्सक्राइब टू अवर चैनल एंड हिट द नोटिफिकेशन बेल लेट्स स्टार्ट द वीडियो फर्स्ट क्वेश्चन वेन आर द मॉस सर्जरी सी पी टी कोर्स आर एसएन ऑप्शन वेन द सर्जन परफॉर्म्स द एक्सीशन वेन द सर्जन परफॉर्म्स द एक्सीशन इन हिस्टोपैथोलॉजिकल एग्जाम वेन द पैथोलॉजिस्ट परफॉर्म्स हिस्टोपैथोलॉजिकल एग्जाम और वेन द सर्जन एंड पैथोलॉजिस्ट आर टू डिफरेंट पर्सन सो द आंसर इज वेन द सर्जन परफॉर्म्स द एक्सीशन इन हिस्टोपैथोलॉजिकल एग्जाम Mass surgery is a specialized technique used to remove skin cancer where the surgeon removes layers of the skin one at a time and examines each layer under the microscope until no cancer cells are found so in this process the surgeon performs both the excision and the histopathological exam making it a unique procedure therefore the cpt course for mass surgery are designed based on the work performed by the surgeon which includes both the excision and also the examination of the tissue that means histopathological examination so here the surgeon is performing as a pathologist and a surgeon by uh, excision of the tissue and also histopathological exam if the surgeon acts as a pathologist also then the cpt codes from the mass surgery are assigned if, so the answer is when the surgeon performs the both duties for excision of the tumor and also histopathological exam then we have to assign the codes from mass surgery next question for ambidextrous patient left side is affected then what code is assigned left dominant side right dominant side left non dominant side and right non dominant side what do you mean by ambidextrous patient ambidextrous patient is a patient where both sides of the body are equally skilled means right side of the body and left side of the body they can use both sides of the body equally in different activities like writing and using tools generally most of the people are right dominant side they use right hand to for writing and using tools or for daily activities also some of people are left uh, left hand persons but for ambidextrous patient they can use right hand and left hand equally right side of the body and left side of the body equally so that's why they are called as ambidextrous patient so in ambidextrous patient the default is the dominant side so if right side is affected then the default is the right dominant side if the left side is affected then the default is left non dominant side so here in the question left side is affected so the answer is left non dominant side next question which is not used to code anesthesia cpt code general anesthesia regional anesthesia conscious sedation none of the above so the correct answer is conscious sedation is not used to code anesthesia cpt codes so anesthesia cpt codes are used for a variety of procedures including general anesthesia and regional anesthesia general anesthesia involves rendering a patient completely into unconscious state and is typically used for extensive surgical procedures coming to regional anesthesia involves only blocking the sensation of a specific region of the body and is used typically for shorter surgical procedures and coming to conscious sedation on the other hand is a type of anesthesia where the patient is in a state of decreased consciousness but is still able to respond to verbal commands so this conscious sedation is typically used in minor procedures such as endoscopes or colonoscopies conscious sedation is reported using its own set of codes that is 99000 series 0000 series are not used to code for conscious sedation answer is conscious sedation next question which statement is true for reporting burn or corrosion codes in sequencing burn codes the lowest degree is always reported as a primary code second option non healing burns are coded as sequela codes third one an infected burn site is reported with one code fourth one a burn due to chemical is as corrosion code so the answer is if, if the burn is due to a chemical then we use the corrosion code Last statement: When sequencing burn codes, the lowest degree is always reported as a primary code. So this statement is wrong. Here, when sequencing the burns, the highest degree 
uh, burn should be coded as a primary code next the uh, hierarchy will be following to the lowest degree burn a second degree burn is reported on hand and a uh, first degree burn is reported on the wrist then we have to first code the second degree burn and then code the uh, then code the first degree burn so we have to code according to the CVRT of the burn first we have to code the highest CVRT burn then uh, uh, then lowest CVRT burn third degree first we have to code third degree burn then second degree burn then first degree burn second statement non healing burns are coded as sequela codes so this statement is wrong in ICD book it is given as non healing burns are coded as acute burns not as sequela codes third statement an infected burn site is reported with one code this statement is also wrong because an infected site burn is reported with two codes first is the in, uh, burn site and second is the infection so it will not be reported with one code the last statement is the correct statement where the burn due to a chemical is reported as a corrosion code so the next question is 51 modifier cannot be appended to the following code first code 36566 so what is the code insertion of non tunneled centrally inserted central venous catheter age 5 years or older 69200 removal of foreign body from external auditory canal without general anesthesia 35600 harvest of upper extremity artery one segment for coronary artery bypass procedure open last code is 28298 correction halus valgus with sesamoidectomy when performed with proximal phalanx osteotomy any method so here in four, all the four codes one code that is 35600 has a, uh, this symbol according to this symbol we should not code 51 modifier along with this code this symbol represent 51 modifier exempt so means we should not code 51 modifier along with this code so, so the answer is 35600 because it has a symbol of 51 modifier exempt symbol that's it for today's video on general medical coding guidelines for cpc exam hope that these sample questions have given you a better understanding of what to expect in this section so keep practicing and reviewing the guidelines and you will be well prepared for the exam don't forget to subscribe my channel and hit the notification bell so you won't miss any of uh, my upcoming cpc exam videos thank you for watching